Hello, welcome to the Mark Janot Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Kali Linux tool that allows you to access location, cameras, and mics of any device. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We are going dark. Before I begin, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. So it is called Stormbreaker. And you know, Stormbreaker is a social engineering tool that can be used to access location, webcam, microphone, and operating system. Uh, it's a password grabber using uh, ngrok link. Uh, the features, it can get device information. It can provide information. It could fetch all operating system passwords. It can access webcam. It can access the microphone. Uh, the requirements is Python 3 and PIP 3. PIP3. So let's first see how it works. So here Kali Linux is used as an attacker machine and Windows 10 as a victim machine. In this tool, attackers will choose ngrok and ngrok works by creating a secure tunnel from a public endpoint to a local port on a developer's machine, which can then be used to forward traffic to the local web server. This allows developers to test their applications in a real world environment and debug issues that may not be visible on their local machine. So ngrok offers a range of features, including support for multiple protocols, such as HTTP, TCP, and UDP, custom subdomains, and the ability to inspect traffic in real time. It also offers a paid plan with additional features, such as reserved IP addresses, custom domains, and support for multiple simultaneous tunnels. So let's get into the practical work. First, we need to open the terminal of Kali Linux, right, and go to the root. We need to clone the Stormbreaker tool on GitHub. So after we clone the tool from the GitHub, after that, we need to check the folder by typing this. Peter, you could put that on the screen, this command right here. And we will see the details of the folder and we need to go inside the folder by typing CD Stormbreaker and then check the files by typing, put it on the screen again, Peter, that, that command again. As we can see there, the, you know, that install.sh file name is a green color, but when you install it, you will see the color is white, which means we cannot execute the file. So we need to change the mode by typing, and Peter, you could put that command on the screen so the viewers can see. Uh, so to run that executable file in Linux, we need to type, Peter, put that on the screen. <laughs> and in this case, we need to type sudo. Peter put that on the screen and then installer will start installing the package and other dependents. Don't worry about the error. The program will still work. So to run Stormbreaker, we need Python 3 and we need to run Python 3 st.py. After hitting enter, we now have the Stormbreaker running. So it is giving the web panel link here, right? It's also telling us to run ngrok to port 2525. Now, before going to the web panel, we need to run ngrok service to host our website. So let's go to ngrok website. So we need to click on the download and it will start downloading zip file. Once it's finished, we will choose the below command and copy it. We will go back to our terminal. We will open new window or terminal as well. So in here, we will simply paste the command. This command is actually simple. To run the command with privilege, we use sudo. tar means command line tool, which used for archiving, compressing, extracting file. So, you know, think of it as a simple, you know, a tool of uh, Renoir uh, for Linux. You know what Renoir is, guys. So to run the command, we privilege, you know, we use the sudo. Tar means command line tool used for archiving, right? And we talked about it, compressing and extracting files. So you think of it as simply, uh, you know, like I said, WinWar2 for Linux. So we are giving XVZ to tell Tar uh, that we want to extract the content of this file and unzip the file. And finally, we are telling Tar to copy the file to this location, which is the USR slash local slash bin from any directory with navigating, right? After entering the command, it will execute successfully by showing ngrok. Uh, the last uh, is to authenticate ngrok to our system. And let's see how to do that. First, you're going to want to open the ngrok website and sign up for the, you know, an account with ngrok service, which is very simple. After doing the sign up, we will see the dashboard. There is an option to connect your account. All you need is, you know, to do is to copy the command and paste it to the terminal. 
So uh, this command will connect our command to the system after pasting the command the terminal right pasting the command in the terminal it will show that you know that auth token saved to configuration so now what that means is we are now ready to use ngrok stormbreaker is giving us authority to run the ngrok and use the port 2525 so we need to copy that command and grok port 2525 and paste it to the terminal after entering the command we are telling ngrok to open http tunnel 2525 and it will route any external traffic to our local host 2525. So in the Im image above, you can see forwarding and web interface. Uh, we need to click on the forwarding link and open the link, which will open in the Firefox browser. So here it will ask you for login credentials to access the web panel. Uh, the image above shows that it, it is asking for login credentials to access the web panel. After entering the web panel, we can see different template based on our need. So for example, we can start with the weather template. So if you click on the weather template link, it will comply the link. Uh, so now is an attack, right? If you sent the link to the victim machine by social engineering, uh, he will open the link and in his system, it will show the weather forecast which the victim might find it very interesting. Oh, he showed me the weather. Oh, it's gonna rain today. <laughs> so, but in your web panel, you will find the details of the system. This is how, uh, you know, with the help of Stormbreaker, hackers can get the details of the system, which you can see the image below. So now if we select the camera option, and again, with the help of social engineering, if we can send it to the victim, then in that case, when the victim will open the link, the camera of the device will be automatically turned on and attacker has the ability to get the picture of the victim. And that is how an attacker can get all the information about system details. With the help of, you know, this Stormbreaker tool, attacker can get access to the camera, microphone and everything. Again, social engineering is the main concept where people educate themselves about this. Many companies are losing important data because of social engineering. So in many respects, it does not matter how secured you are, but if you don't educate your employee or yourself, people about, you know, the concept of social engineering, then it is harmful for every one of them. So that's what I have for you today. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. I appreciate your viewership. I appreciate your support. While you're at it, please also hit that notification bell and please share this content so we can have this conversation at a broader scale. I appreciate your viewership. Stay safe. See you on the next video.